Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here with Paul Jackson III, our Boys Athlete of the Week. He's a football player here at Palo Alto. He rushed for 170 yards uh, in a win over Patterson, 25 to 12. Patterson was 11 and one last year, so it was a pretty good win for Palo Alto. Uh, Paul probably could have had a few more yards, but he had to sit out some of the third quarter because he ran so hard in the first half. Uh, he also returns punts and he also returns kickoffs and uh, looking forward to uh, a, good, a pretty good season, I guess. Paul could just talk a little bit about the game. Um, last game, I think we all played well collectively as a team. Our defense especially, we studied their defense. I mean, we studied their offense. We got to know each of their little habits, what the quarterback would do, his tendencies, and I think we executed on defense. But on offense, I think that we could have did a lot better. We weren't really too prepared for them to pack the box like they did that game. They had like nine guys or eight guys packing the box each time. So it was a little bit hard for our linemen to pick up like assignments each play because there'd be a different type of blitz on every play. So I think we did pretty good, however. Yeah, you must have, they must have at least opened something for you because oh, yeah. you got through. Uh, you know, it always is true that you have to have a pretty good offensive line, and uh, you, I'm sure you want to at least give them a shout out a little bit, huh? Yeah, uh, Peter Snodgrass does a great job of leading the line. Um, we had Troy Henderson, he's injured though, but the past couple of weeks leading up to this game, he's really been a good presence on the line, telling the defense what to do, and we have, I mean, telling the offense what to do. And we have two six-five linemen, um, Irvin Brown and Joe Reynolds, and they're juniors in my class, and they're still learning everything. But I think they're going to have a great year. All right. Now the reason he's called uh, the third year is because he has to differentiate. His father, Paul Jackson II, also played football at Palo Alto. So you know, in the record books, you gotta you gotta make sure we know which one is which. Um, you know, you have a new coach this year. Uh, he's played college ball. Um, does it mean anything for you to, to have him as a, a guy that's actually played and, and been through the ropes like that? Yeah, I think everybody knowing that he played in college and knowing that he played at Los Gatos and he was a star, they definitely have more respect for him and trust his like instincts and what he tells us. And I just think that that helps knowing that we have a coach that has been where we are and knows what he's saying. Yeah. Now next week you play, or this week you play a team that that's that maybe you scattered. I don't know if did you if you went up to watch them play at uh, Sacred Heart or not. But you know they beat Sacred Heart, so this could be a good good little test for you coming up. Do you know anything about San Benito at all? I know last year and the years before that we've been playing them, and they're just a really good running like presence. They have a great offense. It's a, really a lot of different. Um, they can do a lot of different looks out of their offense and a lot of. Um, a lot of different fakes and looks that they can give us and it's going to be tough playing against them and they're a really physical and mentally tough team so we're going to have to stay in there and they have a lot of depth with their team i think they have like 70 74 players on their roster 64 something like that but yeah they're going to have a lot of one-way guys and we're just going to have to bring it down there we play them this week in their house so it's it's definitely going to be tough yeah, you know, I, I should uh, go back one step and, and ask if your dad ever brags about his days here. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely brags about his games. He always tells me the first time they let him touch the ball, he went for 30 yards. But I, I really don't know how great he was back in the day. So, Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, uh, you know, your career so far and your as a student at Palo Alto. And, yeah. well, congratulations for being uh, Athlete of the Week. Thank you.